Now let's draw the Lewis dot structure for SO4 2 minus. So we're, that means that we're going to have to add two electrons into our Lewis dot structure. So we have sulfur with oxygen surrounding them because remember that oxygens don't want to form together. Sulfur is just directly below oxygen on the periodic table and it's in group 6A so it has one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. Oxygen has six valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we know that we're going to have to put two extra electrons onto the most electronegative atom. Well, oxygen. We'll give it to this one. Give it a negative charge, and then we can pick another one. Let's put it on the opposite side. I just feel like doing that. You don't have to. You could have picked the one up here. You could have picked the one down there. Those would all be different Lewis dot structures. But we just chose, okay, to put these extra electrons on the more electronegative atom. So now all the electrons are accounted for. Now let's start bonding the extra electrons so that all of them will get their valence or as close as possible. So. Let's put it on there, put it on there, up on there, and then up on there. All right, now this oxygen, let's just put these electrons a little closer together. I didn't add any, I just put them closer together so we see that it's happy. It's got two, four, six, eight, oops, that's not an electron. <laughs> two, four, six, eight valence electrons. The sulfur has two, four, six, eight, ten. You can do that because it's period three, so it could have extra electrons, but it's eh, still not necessarily very happy. So let's look at the other oxygens. This one, that oxygen's good. It's got its valence of eight electrons. So this is a case where oxygen didn't form two bonds, but it gained an electron. So in the end, it's the same result. It has eight valence electrons. So this is a case where oxygen doesn't have two bonds, as we've seen in previous structures. So now, let's see, what if this bonded over here and that one bonded there? Ah, now, again, it's ugly, but we see there's a double bond between the sulfur and the oxygen, and then a double bond between this sulfur and this oxygen. Now, all of these oxygens are happy. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. The sulfur has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 electrons. It can do this. It's called an expanded octet. So let's redraw this to make it a little prettier. Okay, it needs a lot prettier, but again, I'm trying to give you a better understanding of what's going on with these valence electrons and give you a method for drawing the Lewis dot structures without having to involve a bunch of addition, subtraction, multiplication, math, where you're going to start making little errors. So, And here we don't have to remember how we came up with the formal, formal charge. You saw that the negative electron just goes right there to match up. And this would be a Lewis dot structure for the sulfate SO4 2 minus. And again, this sulfur has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 valence electrons, but that's okay. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 electrons where it's valence electrons, and they're still there. We didn't have to add or subtract or anything to these original electrons, so it's got a formal charge of zero, everything's good. You could draw resonant structures where a double bond could be here, and a double bond could be here, and then single up there, and then all the different form possible formations where you could put the double here and here, or the double bonds here and here, the double bonds here and here, the double bonds there and there, and those would all be resonant structures for the sulfate SO4 2 minus.